parents, classroom friends. In today's class, we are going to learn about the Mesopotamian civilization. First, let me introduce the topic for you. Civilization that rose in Mesopotamia, Egypt, Harappa and China were the earliest in the world. This civilization rose up near the rivers. So this was for the following reasons. The rivers provided enough water to support large settlements. They provided fertile soil so that people could grow more crops. They also served as means of transport. So this is the main introduction of the Mesopotamian civilization. Bronze Age The early river valley civilization used bronze to make tools and implements. This age was known as the Bronze Age Civilization. Now we can learn about the definition of the civilization. The civilization is derived from the Latin word civitas, which means city. The features of the civilization is peoples live in towns and cities, trade exists between four flung areas, Written language exists which helps in the transformation of knowledge. Next is social and economic divisions exist in the society. Some are very powerful than the others. A government exists to maintain law and order. Different types of religious and art form exist. These are the features and the Latin words of the civilization. Next is the Mesopotamian civilization. Now we can go inside the topic of the Mesopotamian civilization. Okay. This Mesopotamian civilization is also known as the Cradle of Civilization as it is located between the rivers of Tigris and Euphrates. So now we can learn about the sources of the Mesopotamian civilization. We get to know about the Mesopotamian civilization through archaeological sources like the Jikurat in Ur, the seals, and literacy sources. For example, the Epic of Gilgamesh. So these are the sources of the Mesopotamian civilization. Next one is the origin of the Mesopotamian civilization. Around the 3rd millennium BC, a civilization rose around the Sumerians. This was the world's first civilization. And I'm here to tell you another important thing. By around 2500 BC, the valley around the Tigris and Euphrates in Mesopotamia, which means modern day Iraq. Next, Nile Valley in Egypt. In this, in this valley in the Indian subcontinent, and Huanco Valley in China be the main centers of civilization. So these centers, they have some features in common too and they also divide they also have some features unique so now we can learn about the cities that are in the mesopotamian civilization many ancient cities like iriju kish uruk lagash and ur has been excavated so what was the biggest city it was divided into three parts so the first one is sacred city, next one is the walled city in the mount, then Ochercha. In the sacred city, there were many chavas which are temple at the top. They were known as sikurats. And also there are many temple, uh, many offices and storehouses located in the scarce area. Next is the walled city in the mount and also Outer town. So these areas are residential areas. Mud brick houses are being found here. So these mud brick houses are in different sizes and shapes, and each of them have a courtyard with many rooms around it. So this is the origin of the Mesopotamian civilization. Sorry, the cities of the Mesopotamian civilization. Now we can learn about the social classes of the Mesopotamian civilization. Okay, now in the social ladder, the king is the powerfulest. He and the royal family held the highest position in the social ladder. Next came the high priest, 
sculptures and also high officials. So these people came next in importance. Then came the artisans, farmers and traders. Slaves are in the bottom of the social ledger. And about the family we can learn now. So in the ancient period, father is the head of the family. Boys are sent to school to study. Girls learn cooking, weaving and also spinning etc. And many household works. Some also try to read and write. Women were not treated to men in this Mesopotamian civilization. Okay, these are the social classes. No religion. Okay. The Mesopotamians worship the different forces of nature. For example, sun, rain, fire, sky. All these forces of nature were like gods for them. They also had their own gods. Each city has its own god. Uh, Sikura is a high temple that is dedicated to a patron god of the city. His, the god city, the temple is built at the top of the Sikura. Priests perform many ceremonies in this temple. And the many people, which means excavator religion, suggest that Mesopotamians believed in life after death. So many graves contain articles of a daily use that will be user, useful for people that believe in death for their afterlife. So this is the religion. Next is occupation of the Mesopotamian civilization. Yeah. So in the Mesopotamian civilization, many people were farmers. They grew corn, wheat, barley, dates, fruits and vegetables. Due to the methods of irrigation, the number of crops were increased. So these crops have been imported to countries and also exported. So this is the main occupation. So remember the Mesopotamians, the Mesopotamians were mostly farmers and they grow crops like wheat, barley, corn, dates, fruits and vegetables. This is the occupation of the Mesopotamian civilization. Next is trade and commerce. So in the Mesopotamian civilization, trade exists between many far-flung areas. We learn the definition in the civilization, the features of the civilization. So this trade you know, is nothing than the Mesopotamians, they imported, they, they imported things they imported raw materials and they made them into finished goods and they sometimes export to other countries. So this was the main trade that is occurring in this Mesopotamian civilization. Another one important thing is many archaeologists they found Mesopotamian seals in Indus subcontinent and also Indus seals in Mesopotamian civilization. Now, what do I mean? It's nothing than trade. Trade has been exist between the two countries. That's why the Mesopotamian seals have been in Indus Valley civilization and the Indus seals in Mesopotamian civilization. So this is the um, trade and commerce of the Mesopotamian civilization. Now, we can learn the major achievements that are did by the Mesopotamian civilization. Which means the Mesopotamians. Okay. Now we have many decorations the buildings like arcs, dooms, columns and walls. Do you know who introduced all these? It's nobody than Mesopotamians. They were, they were the first people to introduce all these things and they added these arcs, dooms, columns and walls in the buildings. So this was the major achievement that, uh, that was done by the Mesopotamians. They also built many sikurats. They decorated with many tiles, marbles and also with precious stones. So this is what also was a major achievement. And another one is drains were at the side of the sikurat. They carried all the rainwater away from the sikurat. So this was also a major achievement. 
So this and the, the things which I told comes in the architecture of the Mesopotamian civilization. Next is the hanging gardens of Babylon. Okay. A king Nebuchadnezzar built these hanging gardens. This was the Bayesian wonder that is located in Babylonia, in the Mesopotamia. Okay. So this king built these hanging gardens because his wife makes the hilly landscape of her home. We know that Mesopotamia is a very dry land. Okay. And also one thing I hear to tell, they also imported stones to build the sikurats because stone wasn't available in the Mesopotamian civilization. So that's, that's why they imported and they also exported tiles and many other things. And next one is science. The Mesopotamians involved in science, mathematics and astronomy. As we count now in chains, they counted in 60s. Okay. They gave 60 minutes for one hour, then 60 seconds for a minute. They gave 12 months in the year and each, each month has 7 weeks. Okay, this was the main things that were invented. They were, they were the achievements of the Mesopotamians. They also gave 12 hours for the days and nights. They also gave names for the planets, stars. Okay, now we can learn about the script. The script is nothing than now we usually write in paper, right? But in the Mesopotamian civilization, there were no papers. They, grew, they wrote on clay tablets. This form of writing is known as the cuneiform script. So, they used one sort of reed or bone with, to write on the clay tablets. And now, we write from left to right. But in that period, they wrote from right to left. So, this was in form of writing that were invented by the Mesopotamian civilization in the 2500 BC. So, this was the script that was invented by the Mesopotamians. Okay, this, now if we keep a paper for a long period, it will just, what can I tell, it will be damaged and it will be just off, it will be destroyed. But the clay tablets didn't destroy. Some are even alive till now. So, archaeologists were spending on researching all these tablets. So, this was the script that was invented in the Mesopotamian civilization. Next is Hammurabi's laws. Okay. Many information, important information was found in the Mesopotamian civilization. So in this, a king named as Hammurabi from 1792 to 1750 BC, he has a lot of laws, about 282 laws. They were carved in a huge stone slab. They were governing for the trade and commerce, trade and commerce, then families, and also civil and criminal disputes. They, they described how to give punishments for according to the severeness of the uh, severe, severeness of what can tell. For example, if a person is mistakenly stealing a thing, what punishment will he give? You will just make him to find a money or something else related to that. So, like this, the Hammurabi's laws, this king, had a lot of laws, about 282 laws, according to the severeness of the mistake that is done by the circumstances or the mistake. Mistake who the, the person who does the mistake. So this was the Hammurabi's love. What can we tell? How many things are in the Mesopotamian civilization? Alas. Very, very sad. We declined. Okay. So as we know, the Mesopotamian civilization is the earliest river valley civilization. But to our sadness, it was destroyed by many natural disasters. So this anyway. The scribes that are made by the Mesopotamians are still indulging the history of the humankind. Okay, now let's 
give a small unit, a small device of the Mesopotamian civilization. So first we learn about the sources, origin, cities, social classes, religion, occupation, trade and commerce, major achievements, architecture, hanging gardens and script, uh, signs and script, Hammurabi's laws. And at last it declined. Okay friends, I hope you understand the teaching, my teaching of the Mesopotamian civilization. Bye friends, see you in the next class.